Previously on Skyrim Modded to Hell. Meet Kareth. Kareth is the youngest person to have ever become the Archmage of the College of Winterhold at 14 years of age. Are you Inigo? I am your so-called friend, Inigo. Let's go, Inigo. We got things to do. Hello everyone and welcome to the Skyrim show starring Inigo. Say hello Inigo. God damn you. Oh yeah, you like that Karava? Oh yeah, you like that Karava? Oh. Sorry about the cheese! Ah! Kareth, dance. Dance as if your life depended on it, Kareth. Tap dancing on the table. Excuse me sir, but would you like a little of this? Oh. Well, it's not what I meant to cast, but just consider yourself lucky. You'll, you'll live to see another day this time. Kirava, I never enjoyed your cheese wheels! <laughs> you make subpar ale! Kirava, well, look at you! Well, you look like a new woman! Ow! Ow! Stop it! You're hurting me! I can't come in here. No! No! You're a crafty woman! No! Kirava, you bitch! Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Skyrim Mod at the Hell, the Skyrim playthrough with over 250 mods installed. And check out Inigo, he's all decked out in some new gear. We looted all those bandits after that big haul, and I gave him tons of stuff, the best, some of the best stuff, and he just equipped what he liked, so he's good. And then we sold the rest, actually we sold a lot of stuff, it was a big haul, there was a lot of bandits to loot. Now I've got 4100 gold, so what should we do with it, ladies and gents? Nearly all of you suggested we go to Markarth. I was really surprised by that turnout. I asked you guys where you wanted to see me go, and pretty sure almost all of you said Markarth. I was not expecting that. I was expecting, you know, a lot of different uh, answers, but nope. Pretty much everybody wants Markarth. Well, you asked for it. You demanded it. And I'm gonna get a drink here before I finish this. I just hold on. You asked for it. You demanded it. You're gonna get Markarth. You must Hello, guard. Oh, and I want to show a little bit of Kareth as she grows, because I'm slightly changing her face every episode as she grows, and she's getting a little bit bigger, too. She's supposed to look a little bit more and more like she will as an adult. So anyways, this is what Kareth looks like now. All right, so let's head out. Inigo, are you ready for this? Are you ready? Are you really ready? All right, let's go. Let's go, Inigo. So everyone asked for Markarth, and that's exactly where we're gonna go. So... Need a ride? Where do you want to go? I bet you don't go to Markarth, do you? You don't! You fucking bastard. What's the closest place to Markarth? Since I don't seem to remember where anything's at in this game. Isn't Markarth way over here? Yes. Oh man. He's not gonna go anywhere near there. Falkreath or Windtown. Well, I mean, I guess Falkreath would be not too bad of a walk. I mean, it's still it's still gonna be kind of a it's gonna be a bit of a trip, but all right, Inigo, are you ready? Yeah, let's go, buddy. Woo! Yeah. Oh wait, there's actually absolutely nothing exciting about this, right? It's a very slow and tedious journey. Oh, I'm t I didn't want to talk to you. What if I hit wait here? Would he just like glitch out of the thing? I gotta try it. And watch. No, he's still riding. Yes. All right. Well. <laughs> Follow me on horse. I want to see what happens when I do this. Are you going to call your horse and randomly glitch off the carriage? Damn it! Whoever built this mod actually did it somewhat well. It's all polished. I expected glitches and horrible things. But it's actually working correctly. Alright. You should follow me on foot. Get out of the car- I want you to glitch out of the carriage and go, sorry, excuse us. Don't mean to interrupt what you're doing there with the boar and the Chinese woman. Oh god, here's a- it's a frost troll or something. Run over it! Yes! I love you, carriage driver. I'm so glad that you're drunk right now. Any thoughts, Inigo? Any thoughts on this? Shady-ass carriage driver? No? no? nothing at the moment. Ah, you never have any thoughts, Inigo. Oh, ho, oh, hello there, carriage driver! Telepathic carriage driver that uses your mind to control the horse. Oh, and an occasionally invisible horse. Even the horse is magical! Uh, you're kinda... Driving through trees, man. What are you? <laughs> Good lord, man. What are you doing? 
Is that supposed to be a shortcut or some shit? Get your head in the game! Oh shit, we're being shot at. Punch it! Carriage driver, step on it! Cheese it! Look, we got a bunch of animals chasing us and our carriage driver just plowing through everything. He just don't give a fuck. He straight don't give a fuck. Look at these guys all chasing us. Like, we'll get them eventually. They'll have to stop to pee or something. See you later, Spriggan. Oh, are you gonna follow us too now? Join the crowd. It's the Pied Piper leading the children out of town. So, here we are in Falkreath. We've just arrived and this guard is already bugging me about dogs or wolves or something. No, I have not seen a dog. I can't hear you over the thunder! Speak up, man! Keep your nose clean while you're here, outsider. How do you know about my cocaine habit? Alright, let's go. Hello everyone, make way! My friend and I are new in town and our pockets are heavy with gold. Grape pine goods. Might as well. What do you think, Inigo? You don't have any thoughts, do you? You never have any thoughts. Why should it be any different now? Any thoughts? Oh. Oh, oh, okay, fine. I get your point. Let's get inside. Some may call this junk. Me, yeah. I call them treasures. Well, you should call it junk because it's all shit. Troll arrow. Yes. Yes. I don't really need any weapons. What's this stuff? Stamina, apprentice robes of illusion, restoration, backpack. I could that would come in handy actually. Increase your magic by 40 points. Oh, that's really expensive though. Some robes of illusion, alteration. Ooh, ringmail hood. That's pretty cool. Silver ring spell weaver hood. Oh, yes. Let's get a closer look at old spell weaver here. That doesn't really tell me tell me much. I don't even know where that came from. Travel cloak, travel lantern. Lots of potions. We've got lots of potions. We've got manual of lantern care. Spell tome, bone spirit, casts a vengeful spirit that homes in on the target and explodes for 60 points of magic damage to undead. Ah, oh, hmm. That could be pretty cool, actually. I do need to get a summoning spell, don't I, people? You guys want me to do that, don't you? Thinking about it, thinking about it, good sir. You've shown me some good things today. I'll be, I'll be mulling it around with my friend Inigo here. We've got a lot of gold to spend. We're gonna go talk it over, okay? So, uh, you just sit tight, wait right here. We might be back. We're gonna go look at the rest of the town, peruse their goods. We, we shall return, possibly, possibly. No guarantees. Ah, Inigo, this damnable rain. This damnable rain. Wait, don't I have a spell that protects me some... Bound cloak, here we go. Create a magical cloak for 150 seconds that grants 7% exposure resistance and 33% longer dryness in rain. Aw, uh, yeah. Alright, and just for a little extra protection, I'll cast Fox Skin. Which increases my exposure protection. Alright, now we should be good, Enigo. Oh, well, you're gonna be soaking wet from head to toe, but I'll be fine. That's all that really matters here. What do we got here? What's this place? Dead man's drink. Okay, it says I feel warm. Oh, okay. People are already getting ready to attack in here. Alright, you're a rowdy bunch. Does this sort of thing happen often? Alright, I'm just not gonna get involved with what you're doing here. You got any leads for work? Heard any rumors lately? Consider it done, milady. But I'd really like to know if you, you don't have any bounty jobs here? Like every inn has a bounty job. What kind of place is this? Well, there's no point in having these spells cast if I'm here in shelter, so I might as well browse the rest of the town. Wait! I want to talk to this guy in the great armor. He won't talk to me. Oh, there we go. Falkreath is known for its graveyard traveler. We've buried more dead than you can imagine. I just finished giving my old war companion Barrett a proper burial by fire. Old Hardhead hated the idea of being lost cold in the ground. You know, at certain moments, this guy's voice sounds a lot like the Exo from Battlestar Galactica. You'll know the right blessings. Yes, yes, fine. I'll do all these things for you, asshats. Oh no! My cloak! My cloak has dissipated! 
Bound cloak, bound cloak. Um, I can't see. Okay, there we go. Thank you. All right, what's this? Lot's house. Oh, that's a random wild dog. Is that the dog you were looking for? Here it is. I'm scared of the thunder, and I go. You'll protect me with your big, strong Khajiit paws, won't you? Ah! Yarl's longhouse, should I go in here? No, I shouldn't. Wait, they might have some work. Yes, what is it that you want? I'm looking for work. I demand tribute before you can be considered- Oh, I see. You're an asshole. about drink? None of that local piss. Real Blackbriar meat. Ah, oh, jeez. I just came from Riften, dude. Alright, well the Jarl just wants drink, so... It's not much fun, and I don't want to go back to Riften. What do you think, Inigo? Fuck this Jarl. So, what does the good old town of Falkreath have to offer me? Let's go into the grave concoctions and check it out. Got something for just Oops, I did not mean to do that. Give a holler if you have any questions. Someone new? You mean I have to holler to get your attention? For me to mix something up for what, them? you got a bad ear? You got, you got a bad earring in one ear or something? Why do you, why do you want me to holler? I'm, I'm really close to you and it's a very small room. What have you got for sale? Take a look. Okay, I see, I see. Fear poison recipe, bunch of potions. Excellent. Lots of stuff. Well, I do need to start learning how to make my own I'll shit. My Is this all I have? Well, I discovered something. That's good, I suppose. I really want to get better at enchanting, actually, more than anything. Um, I should probably buy some potions. That's another thing. I really want to buy a new awesome spell, but technically I should probably get some potions to carry on the road with me. Inigo, how are you always out here before you- you're behind me when I open the door, and then when I come out, you're already there! It's like you teleport through the walls! Hello, guard. This is a private matter between me and my house cat. Please, leave me alone. I'm ready! Take me away! Oh. Hmm. <laughs> well, needs a horse attached. Excuse me. Ah! Ah! Who left all this shit laying around? Clean up your town, Falkreath guard with no name. I kind of wish the guards have, had names. Be cool. What else has this two-bit town got for me and my buddy here? I'm telling you, we got a lot of gold to blow, and it doesn't seem like you guys are offering anything very spectacular. Hall of the Dead. Sounds great. Hmm, I only see a member of the living in here. What a disappointment. I could change that though. Make this a true hall of the dead. And it would only take one kill. Cust, you're lucky I'm walking away right now. Alright, let's go and go. Are you ready? Let's head out. Wait, let's talk to this person first. Boring. Alright, let's go. Okay, so here we are in Markarth, and I just kind of skipped all that, because actually, not much interesting happened, which is kind of surprising, because I have the uh, immersive patrols installed. I thought there would be all kinds of crazy shit, but not not much, really. It's a few animals here and there. Anyways, here we are in Markarth. Let's check it out. Hello, gods. Hello. I have the varied guards and storm cloaks. I thought... I thought they'd be wearing something different. I think they do, though, sometimes. So let's check it out. Just before I came in here, it said I'm so cold, which is never a good sign. This thunderstorm begins to let up. Good. Isn't there some scripted death action that's supposed to happen as soon as I get here? That doesn't seem to be happening. Where are you running off to in such a hurry? Oh, here it comes. I think that's the girl that dies, isn't it? Margaret. Yeah, you're the one that dies. You're the one that buys the farm. Where's your assassin, Margaret? I'll save you. <coughs> All 
Margaret, if your assassin doesn't come soon, I'm going to have to go in and get a room for the night and get out of this cold. Says I'm so cold. Let's see, exposure very cold. There he is. A man like me. I die for my people. I saved you, Margaret. You saved my life. You're damn right I did. Here. I was gonna bring this to my sister, but I think you should have it. Do you know why he was after you? No. I don't have any idea. Sure, sure. Don't play dumb with me, Margaret. He said something about Forsworn. Oh yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't know anymore. I'm just visiting here from Cyrodiil. Ah, you precious Cyrodiilians. Damn. Another body to get rid of. We'll handle it. They talk like that's all they do. I'll take your grilled leeks, assassin. Yeah. Mm, technically, she wasn't attacked, but I was right here. I'm so sorry. I hope the eight give you more peace in the future. Inigo looks really uncomfortable in all this. <laughs> He's like, he looks a little jumpy. I know. I was just getting some fresh air. Sure, man. Sure. Speaking of the inn. Alright, Inigo, let's check in here for the night. Hmm, got any work? Red Eagle. Hmm, okay. And let's see. Wow, your rooms are kind of expensive, but that's okay. Got any rumors? From the priesthood of Stendar. Keeps asking questions about that old abandoned house. Alrighty. I'd like to perform here, sir. You're gonna be glad you hired me. And that you, you will have never heard a fat beat like this before. I'm gonna go right into this crowd. Better hold on to your panties, lady, because I'm about to rock the- what the hell? Uh... That was interesting. You better get ready for a fresh pair of panties, lady, because I'm about to make that badge moist. Dude, you got neck problems, what the hell? Alright, that's creepy. It's like some exorcism shit going on there. Inigo, you're the coolest dude in the crowd all decked out in your awesome gear. Alright, let's go collect our pay and get our room. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Very hungry and thirsty. Alright, let's get on that. Okay, I can't read the note because it's says completed. Read the note and it's covering up what it says. Meet me at the Shrine of Talos. All right, I will. I'm sorry to drag you into Mark Hart's problems, but after that attack in the market, I'm running out of time. You're an outsider. You're dangerous looking. You'll do. You want answers? I'm not doing anything so yet. So does everyone in the city. A man goes crazy in the market. Everyone knows he's a forsworn agent. Guards do nothing. Nothing but clean up the mess. 
Actually, I cleaned up the mess. Well, I took his shit anyways. And all I've been able to find is murder and blood. I need help. Please, you find out why that woman was attacked. Who's behind Waylon and the Forsworn. And I'll pay you for any information you bring me. He was one of the smelter workers. I never knew much about Waylon, except he lives in the Warrens, like all the other workers. She's not... Visitors to the city usually stay at the Silver Blood Inn. Yes, he was killed. I've been trying. I swore I was going to just give up for my child's sake, but it's like my father's ghost is haunting me. Yeah, shut mind. up. Boring. Let's check out the keep, Inigo. What are you hiding, priest? I'm not hiding anything. It's closed for a reason. Typical imperial lies. First, you take away power. Make it quick. Now you're keeping us from seeing our honored Ah, it's some of the Fenderix guards. That means I can buy some spells here. Yes. Yes. What have you got for sale? Oh, uh, here we go. Alright, you guys wanted me to get a summoning spell, right? That's what you want me to do next, or a plague spell, possibly. Well, here's a bunch of stuff. Deer. Uh, some cow. <laughs> cow. I can summon a cow. <laughs> Conjures a friendly cow. Oh, uh, you know how tempted I am to get that, guys. It would just be so funny. I don't know, guys. What should I do? Ghost Maiden? Summon Ghost Maiden. Alright, you ready for this, Fenderix Ambassador? Nice. It's basically just a Wisp Mother, isn't it? Kareth's Ghost Maiden. Oh, let's go with the Ghost Maiden. I'm, I'm kind of liking that. Or I don't know, maybe I should wait and get a better one, though, somewhere else. Ah. Uh, Cause I mean, they're gonna kill that ghost maiden so fast with these mods. So fast. Well, at least it won't break the bank. Alright, I'm getting the ghost maiden. All right, then. Alright, cool, now I have a new summoning spell. Alright, Inigo, are you ready? We got a couple new quests. You wanna do it? You ready? You wanna check them out? Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, Inigo, we gotta go find some evidence. Are you ready? Okay, guys, you wanted Markarth. I'm in Markarth. I'm gonna do some quests in Markarth. A lot of you guys have mentioned that you haven't actually seen a lot of the Markarth quests and stuff. So, I actually had a mod called Markarth the White City that makes all of the buildings and structures basically like white. Like a beautiful pearly white. Um, and it looked really good, but I don't know if it worked very well with Parallax, which I do have installed. So I just went with the Skyrim HD2K version of the retexture. And it actually looks pretty damn good, so I think I'll leave it for now. But if you guys want to see the white version, let me know, because it wouldn't... I mean, it's easy. Easy peasy. Easy, as, easy as hell to install that real quick, so I can show you guys if you'd like to see it. And anyways, I'm going to do some side quests in Markarth. And I did get another bounty job, but you guys are tired of seeing bandit stuff, but I think it might be pretty intense, though. I'm almost tempted to do that, too. But anyways, we got some stuff to do, me and my friend Inigo here, and uh, I'll save that for the next episode. Keep this one a little bit short. The last one was pretty long and was a pain in the ass and took forever to upload. So anyways, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, send me hate messages, start a flame or whatever the fuck you bastards want to do, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.